Dendrobium unicum, Anosmum, Phalaenopsis wilsonii. Welcome back everybody. I am going to give a quick update and my observation so far from the last two weeks that I've think I think it's been two weeks that I've had these orchids on the Michael mounts, the scouring pad in the background as opposed to moss and then the orchid mounted on top. It is uh, almost the end of July, usually the hottest time of year in my Mediterranean climate. Today I have 26 degrees at 2 p.m. That's 26 degrees Celsius at 2 p.m. And it, I have a humidity of 63%. It is a mild day to say the least. But I can still share some observations regarding all the other days I've had, including windy ones. So I'm gonna start with a Wilsonii first. When we saw her last, she was growing this new leaf, which has since almost mature. And you can see she is growing a new, another new leaf right there. She was packed in moss on the same mount as before without the scouring pad just moss over her and her roots were used to very very high moisture content during the summer because the moss retains a lot more water than this mount does you would think however i sprayed her twice so far early morning and then just another little dose to tied them over while I go about my other business. So I do like once around with fertilized water and then I go around again with plain RO water just to tie them over. Weather conditions can change at any moment so I make sure that they're good and wet. And this is now three hours later and you can still see how wet the roots are. Granted it is a mild day the top of the roots here, they were dried off already, it has nothing to do with the mount or what it is on. They were already dried off when I mounted it into this setup. And the roots are still wet and humid enough. And this has been a principle I have noticed over the past weeks, that the roots are holding on to moisture and we've had some windy days longer than I thought, despite this mount not appearing to retain a lot of water. The mount feels dry, except for the last centimeter down here. Meanwhile, the roots up here still look wet, and they are. And I find that quite amazing. I would not have expected that at all. And the unicum, I cut out what I did with this one before I mounted it in my video where I sewed the scouring pad onto the mount, I just broke off these old like cork slabs. And then when I got to roots that were gnarled up inside there, I stopped. So the, here's a sort of a half and half, a hybrid thing. It's still on its old cork slab mount, but you can see how the roots are now reaching the scouring pad and especially this one is diving in. Not holding back, going straight in. You could say, okay, it's early days. Let's see what happens to that root. I am not making this update because I'm not confident. That root is gonna be absolutely fine. And we have some in the back, but they're still on its old mount, so these roots are going to go and go straight in and they're going to absolutely love it. Bear in mind, these scouring pads are not treated, okay? There is no kind of chemical or soapy substance in them. Sometimes they come included with some kind of soapy substance and no, these are just plain, all right? What have we got then with the anosmum? What am I seeing here? This root here, has not died back yet. 
and it's going in. I have another root up here making its way in to the scouring pad. I have several roots of, of course growing from the base which is amazing and I have another one in the back here also it's probably going to go in and I say probably because look at the one on top that one there that one stopped why when the others are going in that one stopped. Now there's two possibilities in my books. It's a bigger root, it's chubbier, it's fatter. And it's not going to dig in as I thought it would because it was going straight into the scouring pad. Secondly, it's not going in at an angle. It's actually going in straight from the top. And there was too much resistance in the material of the scouring pad to allow it to actually continue to grow. I was convinced it was going to grow. Um, it's, it didn't. Now unfortunately I am a little bit too soon with this update because what I wanted to actually do was show you the back if the roots were going to come through. So I have been watching that fat chubby one and that fat chubby one I believe has just stopped because I cannot see any anything coming through the back here. So that'll be for a later update to see if any roots are coming through the back and if this fat chubby one is actually going to start growing again. The angle I think here is key. I can't see what this root here is doing at this moment because I can't see if it's coming out the back. So I'll continue to watch that and update you as we go. But I can see that this root is going in. It has not turned white yet. So these are my pointers, my markers, and also the fact that the angle of the root what is it doing? How is it going in? I'm really watching closely. Now I'm not, I don't think I'm risking the health of this orchid. I might be setting it back a little bit because it's trying to figure out how to grow on this material. It might not grow a big long cane, but it will have roots to hydrate itself and then we'll just watch what it does next year. I am not going to remove it. I am not panicking about these roots. Not at all. Even if I only have little strands, it's enough to then give it some more sustenance for next year to grow another growth. I'm, I'm, I'm not concerned yet. I don't think I need to be concerned either. And I just say yet because, you know, there's never a 100% guarantee in the orchid hobby. But that could be with any media, any substrate, anything at all. You can take an orchid down and it's like, how did that happen? why so what are my conclusions here so far i don't have any root growth happening on the wilsonia so i can't tell you what they're going to do but from what i've observed so far is the humidity retention not an issue at all and the roots stay nicely wet for a considerable amount of time more than i expected so that to me is a positive. Bigger roots will not be able to go through this densely packed material of a scouring pad. It's to date just an assumption, but I think unless there's a certain angle to the growth of the root, the scouring pad would be too dense for the bigger roots to dive in, which is kind of what I'm looking for. If we remember back, it was the EpiWeb thing to find a substitute for that. So if it goes in at an angle, I believe it can cope. If it goes straight down into the media, I believe that's a problem, unless the root then starts growing again right at that tip. The finer roots, 
have no problem with the scouring pad material at all. And that to me makes it quite clear that this scouring pad is very, very useful. I will continue to use it. I will stick to fine rooted orchids on the scouring pad. And for the larger rooted orchids, I have something else in mind, and that is the video for tomorrow. And after that video, I'm gonna have two candidates of the Unicum. I'm gonna use another material tomorrow. You'll see the mounts. And then I'm gonna mount another Unicum on the fine material. And then we can compare in about a month or two months. But all in all, I'm liking this a lot. It's been cluttering my brain and I'm fascinated by the little jumble that's going on in my head and I'm just gonna try bit by bit, make sense of what I'm seeing and trying to optimize this concept here because I like it a lot. I really, really do. So everybody here who has put up with my jibber jabber about what I believe to be seeing and the consequent observation regarding success versus failure. Michael, thank you so much for the brain food. <laughs> I have another word, I shall refrain, but uh, I really appreciate it. This is very inspiring and I will always, always be open to more of the same if I can accommodate and if my climate permits it. Uh, there's no stopping me when it comes to inorganic opportunities. Thank you ever so much everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video, I hope. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing how these have come along. Your comments, your observations. Please, please let me know what you think. I really, really would appreciate hundreds of pairs of eyes on this. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.